Hello, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Isaac King Ek, and today I'll be talking about secrets. Secrets. Now, you would wonder why secrets so important. Why secrets so important? I will tell you the secret is the most important factor of life. Secret, it's the most important thing ever. I would read a few things out for you, a few quotes I made. I said, with secrets, the universe is hanging. With secrets, the world peace is kept. With secrets, life is lived and love preserved. Life is lived and love preserved. Obviously, everything you need is secret to keep the world going around. So I'm going to give you a few scriptures. I'm going to read them out for you and paraphrase on them. And then I'll tell you a few things I wrote down here. Okay? Just follow me on the journey. All right. Now, the popular scripture, very popular, powerful scripture, Psalm 91, said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Secret place of the Most High. So, if the Most High is that powerful, if the Most High is the Most High, why then does he need a secret place? Have you wondered? Why does he need a secret place? And the answer is this. Where there's a secret place, there's a fortress. Every rich man needs a secret place. That's why you get a safe. All right? Now, the Most High needed a secret place because the secret place is the place of power. Another word for that is fortress. Fortress. A king is not a king if he is not protected. The protection is your secret. The moment any man knows your secret, you become vulnerable. You become powerless at that moment. So, a secret place. So, if the Most High has a secret place, why don't you need a secret place? I'll come back to that. Now, in Deuteronomy 29, 29, now, is that the secret things belongs to the Lord. So, everything that is secret everything that is powerful is meant to be secret everything that is divinely um, powerful and dreaded is meant to be secret and every world that's not discovered by men and all of that is meant to be secret every demon every angel has a secret tied around their neck find a secret and you will discover that you can not just only summon and control, you can equally rule over them. Now, I was going through, it is a bit digression, I'm going through, I was going through uh, the testament of Solomon. I discovered a whole lot that was, he was able to do only by having to know the gifts that the Most High gave him helped him to gain access. You can go through that. You can check that on the internet. Uh, you can go buy the book if you want. You will discover that why Solomon became who he was was because of secrets. He knew what men didn't know. Even till now, no one has attained the height he did. Only because of the secrets that was revealed to him. And the last scripture I'm going to quote in here is Job 28 verse 7. Now, he made everything. And everything he made, he made them to hang on nothing. That's a mystery, right? Yes, the Most High has the power to do that. Why? Because if you know certain things, you begin to do certain things that men do not do. In the book of Genesis, just recorded that um, when the sons of um, God, uh, in quotes, angels, were uh, sent down here to supervise the sons of men, they decided to, they were corrupt. Azusa and the rest of them were corrupt and then they decided to now it was recorded that they taught men they give them knowledge in exchange for 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 power and all of those things just so that they can rule over other men and all of that still they people still source for power from all of these fallen angels they tell them secrets about the earth and how the earth uh, itself was formed and all of that and they become stronger than other men. So I'm going to go through a few things and you will understand why I mean secret is what rules the earth and the universe. The difference between the rich and the poor is a secret they know. 
What secret does the rich man know and what does the poor man know? Sometimes you think maybe um, what you hold there as a poor man is what is making you, keeping you alive or whatever. That's why some people go into con some kind of covenant with some deity, some spirits. Tell them, okay, take this and give me this. Now, if you know how to summon them, you use them. All right? But as a believer of Christ, you're not allowed to, to do certain things because they become um, di diabolic and they become some level of uh, witchcraft and all of that sorcery. But the Holy Spirit can help you lead your right on what to do. All right? And then knowledge will be fed. All right. Don't forget that the Comforter is here to teach us all things. So to move from wealth, from poverty to wealth, you need secrets, more secrets. Okay, we'll explain that later. The power of the light is born in the dark. The power of the light is born in the dark. This is quite deep. I would not go into this for too long, but I'll just say this: everything that is that the day shows is born at night now uh, Jesus made a, 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 a parable he said the farmer went and sowed but at night the enemy came and sowed something at night there's a power in the night the power in the night is the power of bet all right the night gives bet to the day anything that must manifest in the day must first be manifested at night so the dark gives back to the light so if you need anything to walk at in the daytime if you need the sun to shine and to celebrate and to announce anything that you um, desire first of all you have to plant that thing at night you do it at night that's why the rich do not sleep at night they sleep in the day while the poor sleep at night and walk in the day the rich walk at night and sleep in the day so Take your time to digest all of this. I believe it's going to bless you. The strength of the tree is in its root. Why the strength of the building is in its foundation. Know this. The tree that will last and live longer goes deeper. And the tallest and all of the gigantic buildings, their, their foundations go deeper. So if you must excel in life, gather more secrets find out things go do more researches and then you discover that the success you desire or imagine is tied around secrets that some people or spirits have if you will be strong and powerful your secret must be deep and strong if you must be strong and powerful your secret must be deep and strong i'm going to be very fast so just follow me the universe only respond to the knowledge you have of her secret. The universe only responds to the knowledge you have of her secrets. The universe is laid down with secrets. Remember, the secret things belong to the Almighty. So if you need to know, ask the Creator. And then sometimes we think that the regular way of doing things like believers, Christians, uh, believers of Christ have a way of, you know, a pattern they pray, a pattern they talk to the Almighty. Now listen, everything is subject to the Almighty. The universe is subject to the Almighty. The four elements and many more are subject to the Almighty. All you need to do is to command them. I digress a little. Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach, walked upon the sea. Now you wonder... How is he able to do that? Record states that he's the only one who is able to do that. How is he able to do that? He understood that the universe have laws. And then for you to, to, to work with those laws, you have to first of all know them. Know the secrets behind the laws. Okay, there's a, the, the, there are parts of the laws that are do's and don'ts. So if when you find them, you will conquer. Then you become extraordinary. Then you become different from other men. But if you... Uh, rely on what other people have found. There's something about finding something. You become the author of that thing. Listen, time will not erase you. Even if men try to cover you, cover what you've done, cover whatever it is that you have said. Listen, time has a way of revealing and unveiling it. All right? We continue because of our time. All right? Every being is carrying a secret. Find it 
and you will rule over them. Every bit, every spirit, every situation has a secret behind it. Find it. When you find it, you will rule over it. Okay? Now, for anything and everything to succeed, it must be bettered in secret. <laughs> I, I pity a lot of people that would share their vision with people. Why not run the vision without telling anyone? Why not do that thing without telling nobody? Just try to be secretive. Don't tell nobody. Don't share with anybody. Try. You'll tell me, okay, some of these things I need finance and all of that. Even if you're to tell someone, do not tell them in detail. Do not open up the, 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 the main secrets. Just tell them on the surface. If they're going to help you, they're going to help you. If they're not going to help you, trust me, they're not going to help you even if you tell them everything. For witches to operate, it must be in secret. For witches to operate. Listen, they feed on your ignorance. Same thing with demons. For them to operate, they feed on your ignorance. Can I tell you? Why Paul say we are not ignorance of the devices. Now there are a lot of devices that they do. When plan A fails, plan B works. Plan B fails, plan C works. Like that to W. That's how they work. And they are persistent and resilient. They don't give up just like their father, the devil. All right? So if you must succeed, you must keep your secrets from walls. Sometimes you don't even talk to yourself. All right? For it to work. Learn that. All right? For the most high to use you, you must, he must trust you with a secret. There's something I've discovered over the years. Uh, I discovered that if you are to be used by divinity. Now, in conclusion, you have to understand that for, for the Most High to use you, He has to test you. He has to trust you with secrets, little secrets, and see how you can keep them. A lot of us don't know how to talk. You know, a lot of us um, don't know how to keep secret. Other people's secret is a thin form for us to spread out. No. Um, I tell people that as a young child, I've known a lot of things and I've mastered myself on how to keep them and how to keep my mouth. And like I was teaching some time ago, I said, for you to grow virtue, you have to learn to be silent. Right? Keep quiet the more you will discover that you, you gain more virtue. Like for some of us who minister, you know, you go out, like you want to minister, teach, preach, um, saying whatever. Before you do that, spend some time, 30 minutes. Do not say words. Just keep quiet. Your spirit becomes awake and alert. Then you are trusted with certain secrets. They will tell you what they want and then you will deliver. Okay? I'll say this finally. Um, for you to be used of any spirit, of the Holy Spirit, sorry, uh, you must, first of all, share a secret. You must share a secret. For you to be used of the Spirit, you must share a secret. Because um, the world itself is built with secrets. If he wants to do something, sometimes he tells you something and tells you not to tell nobody. Not to share. And you keep it. And he wants to see if you can keep it. Alright? And sometimes he would uh, show you certain things and tell you not to show nobody or not to tell nobody. So you have to learn these things. And share a secret with him, and you discover that you will um, go far in your ministry, in your calling. Even if you feel you're not called or whatever, but you 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 are a lover of the spirit, he will open your eyes to a lot of things. All right, and you will excel in whatever you do, be it business, be it your giftings, and all of that. Just know that anything that is given to you is for someone else. All right, someone is in need of it. And you will be able to deliver that thing to that person when the time comes. All right. And I I pray for you that whatever hidden secret, whatever um, hidden potential inside of you that is yet to come out due to the fact that you've not known yourself. I pray that the Holy Spirit help you to know yourself, master yourself. And afterwards, uh, afterwards you would be able to be used for the assignment to you born to um to do thank you guys i love you shalom